So we've been looking at different types of data flow analyses and trying to tie them into a single framework. Uh, one of the data flow analyses that we looked at was reaching definitions. And recall that a reaching definition basically is defined as follows. A definition D uh, of the form X equals Y plus Z reaches a point P in the program. If there exists a path from the point immediately following D to P such that D is not killed. In other words, X is not overwritten along that path. So even if there exists one such path where from D to P, from the end of D to the beginning of P, such that X has not been overwritten on that path, then uh, D would be considered to be to reach P. And we've seen this before. So let's look at this example. Uh, it has three definitions, D1, D2, D3. And if I was to fi figure out what are the reaching definitions at each, all the, all of the points, well, here's the answer. Let, uh, at the beginning, we initialize the boundary conditions to the empty set. Let's assume there's no reaching definitions at the beginning. Just after D1, D1. Just before D2, it's actually D1 and D2 because there's a path which uh, from D1 and then there's a path where D2 also reaches, which is, which is the path that takes the cycle, all right? Then if I look at the end of D2, then it's also D1 comma D2 because uh, you know there are multiple paths that uh, can reach, that allow D2 to reach this particular point. Here also it's D1 comma D2 because D1, both D1 and D2 can reach here. And then at the very end, it's D1 comma D3 and D2 cannot reach here because notice that both D2 and D3 are uh, assigning to C and D3 uh, is overwriting the C. So D3, in other words, killing D2. And so D2 doesn't exist here, right? So there are two important things. One is that D1 comma D2 are present even before D2 because of the loop and D1, and D2 is not present at the exit of the program because D3 has killed D2. Right, just to kind of review what reaching definitions means. And if I was to look at uh, the data flow analysis for reaching definitions, the domain is basically the sets of definitions, right? For example, D1, D2, D3. Direction is forward. Transfer function, out B equals in B minus kill B union gen B, where kill is defined by statements that are uh, overwriting and uh, an existing definition and uh, gen is basically the new definition itself, right? So kill is definitions overwritten by B, gen is the locally exposed definitions of B. So if we're talking about a basic block, then it's about the locally exposed definitions. So definitions that have been made but have not been killed subsequently so, uh, in going in the forward direction. Meet operator, union, because we are looking at any such path. So if there exists any such path, we're going to consider it to reach. So the meet operator is union, boundary condition, out of entry equals the empty set. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, just change this analysis slightly just to show, you know, how this small differences make, uh, you know, can give you different analysis completely. So let's say we, I define an analysis called must reach definition and must reach is defined as follows. A definition D, X equals Y plus Z must reach point program point P if and only if D appears at least once along all paths leading to P. So at least once along all paths leading to P and X is not redefined. In other words, D is not killed along any path after the last appearance of D and before P. Okay. So X is not, so, you know, it's just the, Basically, on all possible paths, uh, D is reaching P uh, and on none of those paths, there's another statement that is killing D, right? So, uh, so the last definition of X is because of D on all paths, right, uh, that are reaching P. So that's what must reach definitions uh, says. And here is what must reach definitions data flow analysis would look like. Everything else is identical with reaching definitions, just the meet operator has changed and instead of set union, it becomes set intersection. And that's going to capture uh, the fact that we want this to reach on all paths and not just any path. And so the transfer function remains the same because once again, you're interested in definitions that have not been killed, but uh, Everything else remains the same. The boundary condition remains the same. The direction remains the same. The domains remains the same. Just the meet operator changes and we get a completely different analysis. 
So that's the power of this common framework. You can just change one parameter and no, you don't have to rewrite the algorithm. Not, um, you don't have to change anything else. You can just basically reuse the existing infrastructure. So just to see an example to understand the difference between reaching definitions and must reach definitions, let's take the same example with three definitions, D1, D2, D3. D1 is assigning to B and D2 and D3 are assigning to C. Uh, our reaching definitions uh, is basically something that we have seen before. D1, D1, D2, even before D2, D1, D2 after D2 as well, D1, D2 before D3 and D1, D3 after D3. Whereas when I say must reach definitions, which have been shown in brown here, it's D1. So here they are the same, but here there's a difference. Here it's D1 comma D2, but here must reach it's only D1 because there exists a path where D2 doesn't reach this point, right? And that path is the straight line path without the loop. And so here it's just D1, but here it again becomes D1, D2. So here again, must reach and reaching definitions have the same answer. Once again, for all other points, exactly, actually, uh, it, it has the same answer. You can check this. For example, at this particular point, uh, just before D3, on all possible paths, D2 reaches D3 without getting killed, right? So if I just take the straight line path without taking the loop, D2 reaches. Even if I take a loop, uh, D2 reaches, you know, I can take any number of iterations of the loop and D2 would still reach. So on all possible paths, D2 is reaching. So D2 must reach this program point. And similarly, D2 gets killed. And so D3, D1 and D3 are the only definitions that must reach um, uh, the, this point just after D3. And the reaching definitions also has the same answer in this case.